What is up guys, Rampano1 here and welcome to today's video. Now today I am once again going to be talking about the 2013 collector's tins. Now I did make a video about these a, um, a while back and I was basically discussing uh, basically what the tins were and just if people were happy with it or if they weren't happy with it. Now uh, the first two tins are Blaster Dragon, uh, Dragon Ruler, Blaster Dragon Ruler and Tidal Dragon Ruler. And they're set for release August 30th, I believe. And then we, the second two tins we've got are Tempest Dragon Ruler and Redox Dragon Ruler. So, all four 2013 collector t tins are Dragon Ruler tins. Now, um, as I know, as a lot of you guys know, you do not like to see um, Dragon Ruler duels. You just don't like the archetype in general. You don't like, um, from what you've told me... You just, you feel the deck takes no skill, which, I agree, it's a very easy deck to play and it's very difficult to get over. So yeah, it is a very, uh, it's a very good deck. And now, Konami are releasing four tins, side by side, well practically side by side, two, uh, two now, two later. And they're all Dragon Rulers, where back when I discussed it, it wasn't confirmed that Tempest and Redox were the actual tins, but it was, uh, it was kind of obvious. But now it is 100% official, and um, now I'm a bit eh about it. And the reason I'm a little bit eh about it is because Dragon Ruler is just, as I've explained, it's a really good archetype and it's really hard to get over. I know you're taking cards that um, individually had a, a fairly decent price, I believe, when they first came out. I know you're just throwing them to tins, you've just thrown them into tins and then... Um, let me just check Tidal and Blaster. So with Tidal and Blaster, you're getting a, a Brotherfoot, Brotherhood Fire Fist Bear. Uh, you're going to get Bloodluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. Possibly Ally of Justice Catastore. Uh, so you're getting some pretty solid cards with it, which I expect from uh, Collector's Tin. So it brings those values down a little bit as well. But those Dragons, it really brings the value of those cards down. And, um... Oh, I don't know. Um, I... I want, I had a feeling that Redox could possibly, just possibly, get hit in the next ban list nah, and uh, bring it down to a, a 1 just because it's so, uh, it's so good and it's so splashable through a lot of decks, a lot of Earth decks nowadays and it's so splashable between all of them, it's pretty much a monster reborn so I had a feeling it was going to get hit, but now that it's 100% confirmed that this card is going to be coming out in its own tin in November, I don't think it's going to get hit now. I don't think we'll see it get hit in September ban list, I believe. Yeah, pretty sure September. So I don't think it, we're going to see it uh, get hit this time around. Now, I think after it comes out in the tin and a lot more people get their hands on it and I guess put in a lot more decks, then it could possibly get hit in March maybe the only reason I see Redox getting hit because just the archetype as a whole just Dragon Rulers as a whole is really powerful I mean I don't think they'd ever like like limit all of them like set them all to one or set them all to two in one go but um, I think one of them at least one of them needs to be hit and why not hit the most splashable one why not just hit that one you take a big core out of the deck anyway, and then you take a um, a card that's been splashed around a lot of decks out too. So, yeah, just a little bit of theory, just a little bit of thought I had. So, I don't think because Redox is coming out in November, we're going to see it get hit anytime soon. But we could possibly see it get hit in March, if not September. We're just going to have to see, um, uh, see how the format plays out and see if Redox is going to get used a lot. Um, now that it's coming out in its own tin. But anyway guys, I want to know what you think about this whole thing. About all four Dragon Rulers having their own tin and coming out. And uh, a lot more people being able to get their hands on the tins. And making Dragon Ruler decks now because of it. Let me know what you think about that whole situation in the comment section down below. Also if you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like, rate and subscribe for more videos. Again guys, this is Ron Panel 1. And I'm out. Peace. Thank you for watching.